There's a few things that can have a negative effect on your search engine rankings. Things like the tick box of doom. Ah! Not setting up your Google Webmaster Console is another way to have a negative effect on your search engine rankings. But there's something else, something that's often overlooked, and that is orphaned pages. What are orphaned pages, I hear you cry. Well, good question. An orphaned page is a bit of content, could be a blog post, could be an article, whatever, some page on your website that's not linked to from any of the other pages on your website. Now, by default, when you publish a bit of content, a post, for example, on WordPress, it will appear in your category pages. Uh, and maybe it'll appear on your homepage if you've got you know, a recent post widget or something like that. And that'll be it. There won't be any other links. And as you add more content, that piece of content will move down your category page and it will also move down and probably off your homepage. Then it's really hard for Google to find it. So that's where internal linking comes in. This is kind of building on my video from last week uh, where I tried out Link Whisper again. Did you see it? It was that one. And uh, yeah, go check it out because in this video, or should I say in this video, I'm going to be using Link Whisper again uh, to find those orphaned pages because it can be hard, um, you know, just to find the pages that have got no links. In fact, there's no real way of doing that with WordPress. So that's where Link Whisper comes in, which is, of course, a plugin that helps you with your internal linking. And in fact, it has a fantastic report that shows you very clearly which pages on your website need some links. So yeah, I'm gonna be running through that report and adding some links. And I'm also gonna show you another cool feature of Link Whisper that I omitted from my last video, which makes it really easy to add eternal links when you're editing content or when you're adding new content to your website. So let's get on the computer and get some internal links set up. Okay, so I'm back at DartPix. Dot com and yeah the first thing I want to do is find those orphaned posts those orphaned articles so they're articles that don't have any links coming to them from anywhere else on the site and yeah as I said that's a bad thing so I'm using link whisper again building on my last video I'll see the plugins installed and set up if I go into link whisper and into reports you get this nice uh, dashboard and here we see the orphaned post report. So these are all of the articles that don't have any inbound internal links. So yeah, we should definitely fix it and add some links. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Let's choose a post. I mean, I'm gonna do all of these ultimately, but let me just show you how to do one of them. So this is a good one, the ultimate guide to the types of dartboard. We click add over here, it will run another report and it will give us some suggestions about where we can add some links. So let's scroll down. So these are some of the suggestions. So this is where it thinks we should put a link and it's on this post here, which is the Dart Parts Explained. Um, don't think that's particularly relevant. I want it, you know, like this one here, perfect type of dartboard because it's about types of dartboard. So that's quite uh, relevant. That's perfect. Let's tick that one. We can edit it if we need to, but um, probably on the same type of dartboard. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, this is pretty good as well. Find a dartboard to play on that could take either type of darts. I'm gonna edit that slightly and just extend the link to include a few more words. So I want it to do that. In fact, let me just take this one out and then add it across there. In fact, I'm gonna use the whole lot like that. Perfect, so that's two already. Um, magnetic dartboard's not really relevant. No, no, I don't like that one. It's not really about cheap dartboards, it's just about the different types of dartboards. No, that's not too bad. Uh, types of electronic dartboard. It's about all sorts of dartboard, not just electronic ones. So, ah, here we go. Type of dartboard, perfect. And 
Nope. No, it's close, but no, no, no. Smart dartboards. No. There we go. Types of dartboard again. Types of dartboard. Perfect. So how many have we got there? Um, a few. One, two, uh, three, four, five, five links. Perfect. Let's add them. There we go. Success. The links have been added successfully. Perfect. Let's go back to the report. I don't know if we need to refresh. We might need to. No, it's gone. It's gone. So I've got all these others to do, which I will do. I want to show you one other feature, though, of Link Whisper that I didn't show you in my last video. And it's the feature that uh, gives you link suggestions when you're editing or when you're creating uh, a post on WordPress. So let's go back into that types of dartboard post. Find it. Here we go. Take a look. So if I uh, wanted to add a few more links uh, to uh, from this post, I should say, so linking to other parts of the site. If you edit the post and you scroll down to the bottom, there is this uh, section here, which gives you suggestions. And yeah, it's very similar to the report that we just looked at. It basically says, you know, you could add this link here to this post here. Okay, look, this is pretty good on wooden dartboards, didn't last long, and then here's a article on how long dartboards last. So let's just adjust this. I'm gonna just take that out and just include last long, so it's got all the keywords in. Pop it back in. It's a good one. That's kind of relevant. I've got a few posts on electronic dartboards and this one is specifically for under $100 ones, so not as relevant as I'd like. However, there are many friendly localities that use electronic dartboards. Now, electronic dartboards is good, but this is not quite the right post, so if I could just change this to electronic. Um, this one, the under hundred dollar one might be good. What else we got? Yeah, we'll go with that. That's perfect. Let's just register that. Uh, that's fine. Really good. So as you can see, it's a really good way of adding internal links because when you're writing or when you're editing content, it can be hard to remember, <laughs> you know, all the other content that you've got on your site that might be worth a link. So this really does help. So I'm going to continue working through this and then I'm going to work through that orphaned um, report as well. I've made a note in my Google Analytics for this site on when I added Link Whisper and when I started doing this internal linking work. So I will have an update for you uh, soon on the impact that it's had on my organic traffic. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just gonna crack on. That brings the end of this video. So yeah, really useful part of Link Whisper is the orphan page report. It can really save your pages from being lost in obscurity and help Google find them and hopefully rank them. I'd love to hear from you. How are your websites going? Leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get and I will try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're new here, why not join us? Subscribe, become a WP Eagler, just click the button and then click the bell and you should get notifications when I do a live stream or when I upload a new video. 
And if this video was useful, if you liked it in any way, please click the like button. That really does help me out. But until next time, bye for now.